One of the greatest things to come to the VexIQ platform is the Bluetooth LE smart radio. So this replaces the normal little black radio that goes in here and allows you to communicate with mobile devices that supports Bluetooth LE. They've released an iOS SDK and because I had some troubles getting it working, I thought I'd do a video to explain how it worked. So the first thing you need to do is download the VexIQ firmware updater and make sure you flash your brain with the smart radio firmware. The demo I'm doing today is for Robot C, so um, you're going to need Robot C for this as well. The next step you kind of need to do is go to Robot C once you've updated the firmware. Then you need to set your VEX IQ mode to autonomous. You also need to go to Advanced Tools, uh, no, sorry, not Advanced Tools, Platform Type, and enable the Smart Radio features. That's a key here. You then download the smart radio firmware. So this is all stuff you'd normally do, but you just need to enable the smart radio in Robot C and then put on the firmware. So that is kind of one of the key things you need to do. I missed it the first time. Then the smart radio communicates with the device via like an SSID or ID. You need to remember what your number is. So if you go into system info, 7436 is my radio ID. One thing uh, to note is you cannot debug the smart radio via Robot C. So you basically can't have it USB connected to your PC while using the smart radio. This caught me out for a long time. I've done some um, example programs which have been heavily based on James Pierman from Robomatters examples, a legend. Um, so all the code you're seeing is going to be just attached to my video. So I've got a little test program uh, da, 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 called BT Demo. Right, I'll just put that there. Then there's an iOS app. Um, you need Xcode to run it, which I can... Um, you put the SSID in there, 7436. You'll hit the connect button there. And then what that allows you to do is... That's motor one way. The other way. What you can also do is you see the LED there. Red, green, blue. But what's important about this is that if I see the word release, pressed, released, pressed. So it's just in a demo of showing you how to transfer data between iOS and Robot C but I wanted to kind of cover the pitfalls that's going to save your time. So make sure you've put the VEX IQ smart radio firmware on there. Make sure you've put the Robot C smart radio firmware on there. Make sure you're not connected via USB in Robot C when you're trying to run your program. So you're going to have to use like display text to output to the screen. And all the code I'm using and help will be attached to this video and is installed in GitHub. Hope this helps people. Thank you.